Did you know that we have channel memberships now? If you'd like to help support this channel, get some exclusive Koabana emotes to use in the comments, as well as an exclusive badge by your name, click that join button now to find out more. Every bit of support really helps. Thanks guys. On July 3rd, 2012, someone posted the following in a Ni channel thread titled, Let's Talk About Video Game Urban Legends and Scary Stories. This is about the Nintendo 64. I used to have this game at home. The sticker on the cartridge had a black background. Space, maybe. With the 64 logo on it. When you put it in and turn the console on, the background looked like space and the 64 logo slowly appeared on screen. Then what we might call a PV now played and that was it. This part I can't be sure about, but I feel like there was also a screen with lots of game titles on it. Does such a cartridge actually exist? When I was a kid, I thought it was something special my brother brought home for me, but ever since then, no one outside my family has known of its existence. At some point it disappeared, and now I'm the only one who remembers it. I asked about it quite a while back in a question thread, but nobody seemed to know anything about it. The thread didn't see a whole lot of action, and the poster never got any replies to their comment that might solve their dilemma. They remembered having a Nintendo 64 cartridge as a child that had a black sticker on it and the Nintendo 64 logo. That was it. The screen, when they started it up, looked somewhat like space and then the Nintendo 64 logo slowly appeared. Other than that, they vaguely remembered seeing a list of game titles as well, but they couldn't be certain of it. It potentially came from their older brother, but that was all they knew about it and the cartridge itself had long disappeared. If you've been following both the game and internet mystery series, then you'll know that posts like these are rather common. Sometimes they're fake stories created to hopefully birth a new urban legend, and sometimes they're real memories that grow more fuzzy and vague over time, but were something that actually happened. So, which side of the line did this particular post fall on? The Nintendo 64, or as it's often called in Japan, the Roku Yong 64, was released in Japan on June 23rd, 1996. It was discontinued in 2002, when the GameCube was launched, meaning that the poster likely received the cartridge sometime in those six years, when they were still a child. Unlike other urban legends born out of Ni Channel, this one didn't propose anything creepy, or suggest that the cartridge might be cursed in any way. It simply existed, and they wanted to confirm that, yes, it really did exist. They hadn't just imagined some imaginary game that was never real to begin with. So, what could it have possibly been? A mystery cartridge with a black sticker and the 64 logo. One potential explanation is that the cartridge was actually a prototype that was never released for sale. If we look at the image of the Ultra 64, what Nintendo revealed to the public before the console officially became known as the Nintendo 64, we can see the cartridge has a black sticker with the 64 logo on it, exactly like the poster remembered. This still poses several problems, however. As far as I'm aware, no actual Ultra 64 cartridge like that in the display pictures was ever manufactured, or at least none have yet come to light. The poster also mentioned a list of game titles appearing, and the Nintendo 64 only launched with three games in Japan. Is it possible they received an, excuse the pun, ultra rare demo cartridge from the Ultra 64 with a list of these games on it before the console's name was officially changed? I mean, it's possible. It's unlikely, but sure, it's a possibility. We don't know everything that went on behind the scenes and how many or even what type of prototypes and demos were made. 
But receiving a secret prototype of an Ultra 64 cartridge from your older brother sure sounds like the old, my uncle works at Nintendo, with extra steps. Another possibility is that it was a modded cartridge. For example, the EverDrive 64 is a black cartridge with a black sticker that also has a big 64 logo on it. But this is also problematic because these types of modded cartridges, which do come with a list of games you can play, are much newer than the console itself, and the poster's memories were from their childhood, presumably when the Nintendo 64 had just come out. Did someone their brother knew mod a cartridge back then with a list of games? Maybe. It's possible. But it seems weird they'd also print a somewhat official-looking sticker to go with it. Which leads us to our final and most likely possibility. It was a demo cartridge used for promotional purposes that their brother really was lucky enough to get his hands on. We can see a picture on the official Japanese website that shows pretty much what the poster described exactly. A cartridge with a black sticker and the 64 logo on it. This is similar to the Ultra 64 theory, but the Nintendo 64 was actually made, as were these demo cartridges. This black sticker with the 64 logo can be seen on numerous cartridges from Nintendo 64's early years, and it was also used on the test development flash carts as well. This would also line up with the list of game titles they vaguely remembered appearing when putting the cartridge in the console. Unlike numerous mysteries to come out of Nii Channel, it seems likely that this person wasn't lying, but as a child, somehow got their hands on a rare demo cartridge, and they just didn't know it at the time. It's impossible to say for certain without seeing what cartridge they had, which is obviously impossible now, and why they were posting in the first place. But yes, it seems likely that what they remembered was real, and that cartridge really did exist. How their brother got it remains a mystery. But hey, maybe their uncle really did work at Nintendo. Someone's uncle has to, right? But what do you guys think about this one? What might the mystery cartridge really have been? Did you have any similar experiences yourself when you were a child? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you again next time.